this is an example of projectile motion or kind of a concept, uh, not technically an example. We're not going to use specific numbers, but our situation is we have a dart gun that's aimed at an apple hanging in a tree and when the dart gun is fired at the same time the apple is going to drop towards the ground so that's what we're uh, that's what we're working with and they both fall with the acceleration due to gravity near the earth so the acceleration is downward although I'm, I'm not going to put in uh, a number for the acceleration the question is, we're not specifying the speed of the dart. You know, if it's infinitely fast, you know, almost uh, like a laser, but uh, if it's very, very fast, it would strike the apple right near the branch. If it's slower, the apple's going to fall, the dart's going to fall due to the acceleration due to gravity and uh, strike someplace. So, what can we say about? Uh, does the place where the apple gets hit, or sorry, does the uh, decision on whether the apple gets hit or not, does that depend on the velocity of, of the dart, the speed of the dart coming out of the, the gun? So what can we write down? Well, we're interested in the dart hitting the apple. So we're interested in a Y position. We want the Y position of the apple to be the same as the Y position of the dart at some future time. So let's write down uh, equations here that describe this motion. For the case of the dart, the position of the dart at some time, I'll call Y sub D, D for dart, we have initial position of the dart. This is the third kinematic equation. We have an initial velocity in the y direction for the dart multiplied by the time in the air plus 1 half a sub y t squared. For the apple, I'll write it up here a little bit to keep them separated, the uh, y position of the apple at some later time is the initial position of the apple in the vertical direction plus a zero, the uh, apple starts falling with zero velocity in the y direction. So this uh, term here, the dart does have a velocity in the y direction. The apple has zero velocity in the y direction. So that creates a zero for that term. And then one half a sub y t squared. So those are the two uh, equations. Let's subtract the two y values. So I'm going to do y sub d minus y sub a. And what that's going to generate, the y sub d is here. So I'm just going to copy this down. Hopefully you're ahead of me and you can see what's going to happen here. So that's the y sub d. And now the apple And if I observe here, 1 half a y t squared as a positive term minus 1 half a y t squared. So those add to 0. And our decision is going to be based on analyzing what's happening in here. So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that just a little bit. What is the initial y velocity of the dart? Well, that's going to be our initial speed of the dart and sine of theta. That will give us the vertical direction. If here is v naught, little right triangle here. So here's uh, for the dart the uh, y velocity, just v naught sine of theta. What about the time? Well, now I'm going to bring in the x quantity to this motion. And if I would even bring it across here, there's an x distance. Oh, I should, it shouldn't go all the way across, so it should stop here, right underneath the line of the apple. This vertical line was just a sketch notation telling me where uh, why not for the apple is. But our x goes out to here in the vertical line that the apple is falling towards the ground. And the um, dart makes progress in the x direction based on the 
x component of the velocity, that's v naught cosine theta, and multiply by the time in the air. So I'm going to do a little substitution here for this term. I'm going to replace v naught uh, y for the dart with v naught sine theta. I'm going to replace t with x divided by v naught cosine theta. I'm using the x equation to solve for time. And let's continue down here, yd minus ya. Get this on the screen a little bit. Sorry about that. The initial uh, y component of the velocity for the dart is v naught sine theta. We're in a right triangle here. v naught's the hypotenuse. Sine theta gives us, multiplied by sine theta, gives us the opposite side. So we y dart minus y apple is equal to the initial position of the dart plus, now I'm going to substitute for v naught y for the dart, that's v naught sine theta, and multiply by t, now I'm going to substitute x divided by v naught cosine theta, and then I have minus y naught a. Again, these acceleration t squared terms have uh, subtracted to zero. And let's simplify a little bit in here. Um, the v naughts we can see, cancel off. This difference between the position of the dart and the position of the apple in the vertical direction does not depend on the speed of the dart. So that's an interesting observation. And then sine divided by, tan by cosine is tangent. And we have the x and minus y naught a. We can go a little further here and observe this x um, tangent theta quantity that there's a substitution that we can make. If we look in our triangle, if we look in this triangle, tangent theta, I better do this off to the side, tangent theta is equal to the vertical position of the apple minus the vertical position of the dart divided by x. Why not a, the position, I probably should put knots on these, the initial position of the apple minus the position of the dart gives us the side here in our uh, triangle, the opposite side. The adjacent side is x. Tangent theta is opposite divided by adjacent. Now I'm going to switch this around a little bit and multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by tangent theta, and I get initial position of the apple minus initial position of the dart over tangent theta. And I'm going to use that to substitute uh, back here. Sorry, but off the screen. Tangent theta opposite over adjacent multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by tangent theta. And now y naught of the dart plus tangent theta, and I'm going to replace x with y naught of the apple minus y naught for the dart divided by tangent theta, and I still have this minus y naught of the apple term. This is just a little side work to give me a value for x to substitute in. So tangent cancels, and I have y naught for the dart plus y naught for the apple minus y naught for the dart minus y naught for the apple. Just removing the parentheses, there's a plus 1 in front there that you could distribute through if you wish. But why not A minus why not D? What does this add up to? That cancels to zero. That's a zero. Zero. The distance between the dart and the apple in the y direction is zero. The dart will hit the apple. Now, if the dart is not moving fast enough, we'd need kind of a cliff situation here. And um, we'd have we'd hit below ground level or into a well or something. Um, 
If the dart is moving fast enough, it'll hit here before the apple hits the ground. But if the dart motion is slower, if it's just moving slowly in the X direction, um, it's still going to hit. It just might be very far down on the uh, on the page here. But the situation is that the aiming at the apple, we are going to hit the apple with the dart at some time. The dart will be struck by the apple. And this does not depend on the speed of the dart. It does not depend on the angle of the dart. The position where the apple is hit does depend on the uh, on those quantities, but um, the dart will hit the apple. So ask your instructor if you have questions on this.